All right, guys, here for two for the money. Going to go over last week's results to see how you would end up, Hey, Benny, how did we end up? Uh, I think we both scored 100% on our lock, which was excellent. I so if you would, if people out there, if you would have bet like $100 for our locks, you would have made yourself uh, $200. That would have been halfway to the uh, membership. If you would have bet $200, that would have paid for your membership week one. Um, so that's a guarantee. And what did we do on the games? I think between 60 and 70 percent. So uh, uh, in my opinion, Monty is money and the player is the payer. So you're looking at uh, basically that we're anywhere 60 to 70 percent week one, which is very high numbers. I think, Benny, uh, we both picked all the same games, different lock games. But uh, the Jets against San Francisco, you went with San Francisco against the Jets, which ended up being a blowout. Good call on your end. Um, I certainly wasn't going to be in the lock. So, again, guys, uh, we hit 60 and 70% of the picks and on the locks. Both went two for two on our locks, meaning that if you would have used all four of our locks, you would have made your money back on a $100 bet. Yes, you're, losing, you're losing an opportunity, people out there, to listen to two guys that know what they're talking about. And, you know, the proof's in the pudding. Um, all you have to do is become a member on the Monty and the Faro page and – join the two for the money uh show all right well we'll be filming our picks this week and uh if you join in you'll get your picks get your money in and uh make some money benny yeah some uh great matchups this week uh teams that uh lost like last week that maybe shouldn't have uh you know definitely itching for a win do you think that uh if a team goes zero and two their season's basically either on life support or over no, I mean, it, it, I mean, with seventeen games, Mike. I mean, two, two game, I mean, two games in baseball is nothing. Two games in football is pretty significant. It's about fifteen percent. It's, it's, it's not. A, I mean, you're, you're, you're climbing a hill all of a sudden. So yeah, it, it does make it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it, it, you know, it makes it a little bit more difficult for sure. I mean, uh, Bill Belichick was saying seasons aren't made in September, but uh, if you start off 0-2, you're putting yourself in a major, major hole. you got to think that you need to lose only six games to even have a chance to make the playoffs nowadays. Agreed? Yeah, I mean, who am I to disagree with Bill Belichick? But I, I do disagree because, you know, if you're in the playoff stretch, you're, you're want, wishing that you won that game in early September that you didn't win. Uh, what was your biggest surprise on week one, Benny? Uh, <laughs> and you called it, Mike, my, my biggest surprise. And I would have, you know, New, New England and Cincinnati. Who would have thought the Patriots would come into Cincinnati and, and just do what they did? I did not expect that at all. I just felt like that had trap games, like, all over. It just smelled yeah. rotten to me. Um, yeah, you, you probably saved me a couple of bucks on that one by uh, taking me off the roof. Listen, like I said, guys out there, you got to remember, right, until the season progresses, if you're going over three and a half on the spread, um, it gets tricky. Uh, you know, this isn't baseball. Seven and a half points in the NFL is a lot. A lot of is points. Is a lot of points. And, you know, again, you know, it doesn't matter if a team is better than the other team, especially when it comes to the spread. It all it takes is one muff punt. One dropped punt, one tip run pass. back for a touchdown, a tip pass, and it's a totally different game. We're not talking head-to-head beating the team. We're talking covering a spread. And these bookies, as they go on, guys, it gets tighter and tighter. So this is the opportunity to join me and Benny and two for the Monty and make yourself some money. We're here to help you, man, but obviously there's pay on it. All right, Benny, we're going to – we're going to call it a day, and we're going to get to the main show because that's going to take a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah a, lot, uh, a lot of meat on the bone there. Right now, who, what team are you most impressed with? Oh, wow. Man, that's a, I mean, I have to say that I was very impressed by the Tampa Bay Bucks, but, I mean, they, they really surprised me. Baker Mayfield, I've been waiting for this guy to fold since they signed him. Keeps proving me wrong every week. That's the guy I wanted the Jets to get. Uh, me and the Farrow would go back and forth. Uh, Farrow is a he's a Bayfield, Baker Mayfield believer now, but I don't believe he was back then. I, um, you know, he thought Allen was a better quarterback. Uh, right now, that's turning out to be true. Kind of, maybe we'll see. Um, Allen is becoming the Henrik once Lundquist, the uh, Aaron Judge and the Patrick Ewing of football. And I hate to just keep it to New York, but that's a perfect example of people that just don't 
win it, they've got the bad juju. And uh, in my yeah. belief is Buffalo's Allen has the bad juju. He's just not a winner. Um, where I be, feel like Mayfield is, but it's wrong for me to say that because Mayfield has not won a fucking thing yet. But that's open for discussion. All right, Benny, I'll see you on the main show. All and, right. Uh, we'll get this up and loaded so these people could get their bets in. Thanks a lot, brother. Later.